Thank you kindly. Here's Jennifer Kelly and Kevin and Jennifer, your thoughts on the 2023 Stanley Cup goes to Vegas. Well, a lot of outstanding performances by this team that we all recognize as a very deep team. But if you have to look at the Stanley Cup clinching game, it needs to be the performance of their captain, Mark Stone. And he talked about being inspired by Jonathan Taves in 2010. And look at the poise and the patience for the Golden Knights' first goal of the game. That was by Stone shorthanded. He gets a second one later in the game. And this guy, it's always in the emotion that he shows. It took him a few attempts, but finally he got that hat trick goal uh, in the third period. And this is what this guy's about the emotion the leadership, the character. He's gone through so many challenges to get to this point to hoist the cup, but certainly his on ice performance was critical in their overall success and finally winning the cup here for Vegas. But beyond the abundance of goals and great uh, saves in this series, I thought two plays in particular really dictated the outcome and there were body checks don't ever underestimate the power of a big body check in this game and the first one happened in game two was Kachuk coming off the bench and catching Eichel and everybody held their breath with Eichel's history the, the injury the surgery this was a scary sight and what a different series this would have been if I, Jack Eichel never came back after game two it's a whole different look because he played great and then the next game Keegan Colser also from Manitoba puts the lick on Matthew Kachuk there's uh, news that just broke after that. He broke his sternum and that he battled through it. He tried to play, but he was clearly their best player heading into this series, and he wasn't able to factor in for the remainder after that hit. So two hits that really dictated the outcome, I found. And you think of the ownership, Bill Foley, and he's awarded a franchise, and he says, we will win a Stanley Cup within six years. Yeah, right. Okay, who's going to do that? And yet, it's six years now, and how bold they were. And, you know, you think of uh, George McPhee, and they always said they're going to stay aggressive. Kelly McCrimmon, what's he do? He goes and gets Jack Eichel last year. Knew that they needed depth down the center. Kevin, you've talked about the depth on the D, saying they're the best uh, on the planet, all six of them. And then you think of their goal tending and they go and get Aiden Hill uh, last August for a fourth rounder because they needed some more depth. Amazing franchise. You know, I think about May 14th, uh, and this is no disrespect to Florida. They could have won the Stanley Cup. There's no doubt about that. But the Edmonton Oilers and Vegas might have been a Stanley Cup final if you think about it. And Marcia so delivered the hat trick in the deciding game. I think that's the reason he won the Conn Smythe Trophy. You go back to these big hits. He was taken out by Tom Wilson in 2018, and that was really a critical moment that allowed the Caps to win that Stanley Cup. So here's a guy who was always doubted, undrafted, uh, said you'll never be a pro, and he's walking away with the Conn. The pros and cons of the 2023 Stanley Cup. He's both.